To calibrate the pumps, they must be charged. If the pumps have not been charged within the past 48 hours, you must recharge the pumps prior to sampling. Be sure to verify the pump flow rates in an area where you are not exposing the media and equipment to the contaminant, like an office setting. All pumps have the lab calibration information on the lab pump calibration data sheet provided. Set up the pumps with the correct media in line, with the field rotometer as shown. The order of the components for calibration is pump, tubing, impinger, and rotometer. Remove the two screws on the front of the pump and reinstall with the impinger holder in line. Remove the impinger from the foam packing material and save the material for return shipment. Separate the impinger and remove the paraffin wax from the top portion of the impinger that prevents the impinger from fusing together. Insert the bottom portion of the impinger into the impinger holder with the units of measure visible. Dispense the proper amount of impinger solution, according to the method, using the milliliter measurements on the impinger as a guide. Now, insert the top portion of the impinger into the bottom portion of the impinger. Attach the Tigon tubing to the pump and then to the side port of the impinger. Important! Never attach the tubing coming from the pump to the top port of the impinger. This will cause solution to be drawn into the pump, resulting in failure and damage to the pump. Install the rotometer to the top port of the impinger. To begin calibration, turn on the pump. With everything sitting on a level flat surface, check the ball float in the rotometer. Be sure to take your rotometer reading at eye level and use the center of the float for the value. If you need to adjust the flow, use the set screw on the pump. After you are satisfied with the flow rate, turn off the pump and record the value on the field pump data sheet. Remove the rotometer from the impinger. Carefully transfer the solution in a vial. Cap and mark the vial for post calibration. Now you can return the impinger to the holder, dispense the proper amount of solution to sample, and reinstall the tubing. Turn on the pump and record the time to the minute that the pump was started. The counter records the number of minutes the pump is operating and should read zero when you begin. After sampling is complete, turn off the pump Transfer the solution to a vial and label the vial. Tighten the vial cap and apply tape to the cap in the same direction that you tightened it to prevent leakage during shipment. After the samples are prepared for shipment, a post calibration must be performed on the pump. You can now perform the post calibration the same way you did the pre calibration. Just record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. The pre and post rates should be within 10% of each other. If they are, average the flow rates to determine the flow rate to be used to calculate the air volume. All rotometers are calibrated against a primary standard quarterly. This calibration formula is located on the side of the rotometer. Take the average rotometer reading and plug it into the calibration formula where the X is to determine your actual flow rate. Multiply the flow rate, LPM, by the total time sampled in minutes to get the air volume in liters. Record the total liters on the field pump data sheets and the chain of custody. If the post sampling rates are not within 10%, OSHA considers the samples screening samples, and if the analytical results show high levels, resampling is recommended. Important. Be sure to pack the impinger in the foam packing material for return shipment. Then complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact Galson Laboratories by phone, email, or IH Live Chat. 
You may also access our extensive library of other helpful videos at GalsonLabs.com. Thank you.